we know there's a, a real possibility that Madeline can still be found alive. But I guess for us it was important to hear the police saying that after they've reviewed the evidence or, you know, at least part of the way through the evidence. Um, I think the, you know, it's excellent and it's the most hopeful I think we've been since the early days, to be honest, Martin. Um, and at this point we know there's a tremendous resource a very experienced team uh, reviewing all the information and a committed team with uh, Detective Chief Inspector Redwoods leading who really want to find Madeline and what happened. So if anyone does have information, uh, evidence, this is the time to come forward and we really are hopeful. Well, our understanding has always been that there's no evidence to suggest she's come to harm and that means there's always a realistic possibility. That and combined with the fact that many other children have been found after very prolonged periods of abduction. And it's probably worth emphasising as well that when the younger a child's taken, uh, often they're being taken to be kept. And Madeline's in that, you know, a lot younger than the normal child who's taken, uh, you know, for sexual reasons. I mean, we are aware that new information has come in and also that new things have been identified within the material that's already there that haven't yet been investigated. I mean, obviously we hear about things in broad terms rather than specifics, to be honest, but obviously it's given us a lot of hope and I, I guess I'm not surprised because having been through the files, you know, I've seen things that I've kind of think, gosh, you know, that needs to be locked out. But um, it's just good to have, you know, a team on board who are, are really determined to find it. I think there's, there's two full facts. Um, I do believe there is new information. Uh, there's information that we've seen that's come directly to us and it's been passed on. So we strongly believe that there is new information. Uh, I think how you treat some of the more historical things and identifying links, uh, there may be difference of opinion. But ultimately, a lot of the investigative opportunities lie in Portugal. And inevitably, to carry those out, properly into fulfilment then the case will have to be reopened and you know, while Madeline's missing and the perpetrators are at large then the case will need to be reopened I've got no doubt about do you, that. Do you think it will be reopened? I think it will in due course. Yeah. I mean I think you know short of someone coming forward and saying hey, here she is you know our best chance of finding her and also the person who's committed the crime is by reopening the case so you know hopefully given time assuming that everybody wants to find Marlon and wants to find the perpetrator, then you know, I am hopeful that the case will be reopened. We weren't expecting an overnight reaction. We've been in this situation for three and a half years. It took us a long time to get the review. The review is not finished, and let's not forget that. So those investigative opportunities, almost 200, have come from the first 20,000 pages. So yeah, we're quite happy for the Metropolitan Police to be liaising with the Portuguese authorities, going through the proper process and presenting the evidence and, and real opportunities. And I think they'll make a very, very strong case. And, uh, and it, it makes a tremendous difference that it's not down to us. Um, we, do f we felt we were on our own for a very long time and it doesn't feel like that anymore. We really feel that the UK authorities and the Metropolitan Police in particular really want to get to the bottom of this. We've got to a point now where we, we just want to go forward. We can't we can't change it. But whilst it can be done, you know, let let's let's do it. In some ways it's great that those leads are there because it gives us something to work with, which is why we you know, we campaigned and petitioned for three and a half years to get the review yeah. in the first place. We knew if the case was just reopened and people would be standing there going, Okay, now what do we do? But at least with having the review and having these actions identified, there's stuff to work on. Yeah. You know we've never the mistakes have been well publicised and we know there was resource issues and just the, the data capturing and different things and we also know that a lot of the, the police early on did try. You know, there was a big investigation, but um, it's actually better to know that there are still opportunities for us. And we just want those to be performed reasonably as any family would for a, a missing child or a serious crime that's been committed. You want to get to the bottom of it and bring those uh, responsible to justice. I, I don't think, I don't look at it and think that is Madeline. We know um, it's a resemblance. I don't think of it as Madeline. The important thing is um, challenging the assumption that 
Madeline is a four-year-old who's been, you know, who's frozen in time. She's not. Uh, she will have changed. And the public, we also know, are very forgiving in terms of resemblance to images. Um, and particularly children, they look at these pictures in a very different way. So uh, we know from America in particular that these images work a lot of the time. Well, Jer Jerry's in, in work, to be honest. Um, I've got a mass that I'm going to go to for Madeline. Um, I'm spending the day with a friend and then as we've done the last few years there'll, there'll be a service for Madeleine. I mean there, has, there, there will be in several places to be honest and uh, you know it'll be with family, friends and, and supporters and you know it's the same message it's just not too late you know um, please yes. let us know you know tell us where she is tell us what's happened if you think you know you know who's done it if it's your brother if it's your son if it's your colleague please do the right thing you know and it's not too late it's really not you know, just let us know it's hard to emphasize um how important the difference is between this time last year and what we have now since the, the review was granted and they met and the resource and experience they've brought to bear and we, do, we don't feel like we're on our own anymore and at times in the past we have felt like it's been battle after battle and now we really feel that the British authorities are committed absolutely committed and it's taken a tremendous burden away from Kate and I and Madeline's Fund and everyone else around us. And we're really grateful to the Metropolitan Police and we're also really grateful to the general public because without their support I don't think we'd have got the review either. So. And from the review? We want to find Madeline, we want to find out what's happened, we want to find who's responsible for the crime and I think the sooner we start looking at these leads and getting invested getting an investigation going, the better really. If you don't look, you won't find.